Hello everyone and welcome to the... Oh, I think I got it all wrong. Okay. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to the SCG Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games, powered by the Power 9 Podcast. My name is Mick, I'm one of your hosts. Uh, and today, there's a lot of people in Taipei, so I'm the only one who's going to be driving you home this evening. This is our weekly standard tournament here. Uh, and yeah, the players are playing for... Well, this is the last week of the league. Yeah, they're playing in the league. So every week they accumulate points based on their wins. And right now we're watching a game between Alfian and uh, John Paul Po. Alfian is sitting on the left and uh, John Paul is sitting on the right. Alfian here is, uh, you know, he is three wins away from being, I think, the top of the table. Uh, John Paul, I'm not quite sure what his... Uh, <laughs> what's his standings but uh, yeah he starts off with an Oath of Nisa looking for planes and this looks to be a green white tokens uh, John Paul told me it's not a green white tokens but yeah it's um <laughs> looks to be that way Alright, so Alfian playing the mono blue, uh, what you call it, mono blue control deck, the Eldrazi deck, and uh, gonna fire off and anticipate, and he's going to look for a card which is an island and put it into his hand. This, <laughs> this deck, uh, really requires you to hit all your land drops on time, and we were watching last week. Alfian uh, top decked and and bring, uh, no sorry uh drowner of hope that's right uh for the win against uh, a prince Armandor. right so uh, Alfian here gonna go off with a yeah, with a Shivan reef and probably gonna take two here uh depending. Like uh, John Paul gonna swing in for two. Alfian goes down to eighteen, and here casts the Gideon, uh, opting not to play. All right, so he's gonna spell shriver there, opting not to play the thought knots here, playing around any counter magic that Alfian might have. Uh, which, yeah, uh, you know, rightful, rightful to do so. Alfian here laying a Tempest Island, sorry, Urza Saga Island. Uh, not paying any respect to all the rest of his islands in his deck. <laughs> Because, you know, uh, not matching, you know, unmatching uh, play sets is what we're all in for today. <laughs> Alright, now Gideon hits the battlefield. It's going to be spell shriveled this time. Uh, put it away, says Alfian. He's just going to take another two from the Nisa. Uh, Alfian here is just going to draw, play a land and pass the turn until he gets his Drowner of Hope. He looks to have much more... Uh, action in his hand uh, and gonna take a lot of damage from this Nisa he's gonna try to resolve a thought knots here but I think uh, thought not yeah so he's gonna go anticipate hopefully looking for yeah he does see the spell shrivel and uh, he's gonna cast the spell shrivel off of the anticipate Uh, for uh, sees his drowner of hope. He's got six mana. Does he cast the drowner of hope here? I think. Wow, he does. Just balls to the wall, man. Just do it. Just do it. Uh, and yeah, the enter the battlefield ability gets you two scion tokens. Uh, this will help him ramp to 8 mana or basically just has a big blocker. 5-5 five five is nothing to sneeze at, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, John Popo here running uh, looks what to be a 4-color, uh, you know, Abzan. Well, Abzan with the colorless, so it's 4-color, right? Uh, variant of the deck with uh, plenty of Planeswalkers. So let's see, Anguish are making an a, uh, what is that? Uh, Dromokas Command. Uh, among all the cards he has in hand, he has another Nisa as well. He might want to run the Nisa into it. No, I don't think so. Just cast. I don't know, he just passes the turn. All right. 
And Alfran here seeing a very special land. Is he gonna fire off or no? He's just gonna attack in. Uh, yeah, best not to be greedy and just wait for the trigger to uh <laughs> to resolve. Uh, the genre of hope going all the way into <laughs> the lands of John Paul Po. <laughs> Beat. Uh, and John Paul just takes five because, you know, what can you do against a genre of hope, right? Do you want to just use your Nisa to chump block? I don't think so. Uh, so end step, he's going to do Dromoka's command, going to fight one of those guys, and I think just sacrifice it for... Okay, so he just... Uh, minus two, minus two, and remember it produces two mana for colorless spells. Spatial, con sorry, plus three, minus three. Spatial contortion here is a colorless spell, so the shrine works. He's gonna anguish on making the uh the drawn of hope in response. And does Alfian have any follow up play on this? No, he chooses to anticipate. Hopefully looking for a counter spell. Unfortunately, one of the counter spells got uh, put at the bottom of the library. And I think he'll just let this resolve. Uh, uh, no, he's going to Void Shatter it. Okay. Alright, and just passes the turn. So right now, John Paul has a window open to resolve basically anything that he wants. Uh, and... What can he do? Uh, Alright, so the Nisa gonna hit the battlefield and uh, he's gonna get the other forest. Basic forest, probably gonna lay another land, which uh likely to be the hissing quagmire that he has in hand. Uh, and Alfian's gonna respond here by sacrificing one of his scion tokens and spatial contortioning the Nisa. Very nicely played there. Uh, he's seen quite minus the battlefield. Well, I think he could have just waited. So now he's going to bash in for 6, uh, bringing John Paul down to a life total of 8. And he's just going to pass the turn, probably just going to tick up on that, uh, tick up on the um, Mage Ring network. So John Paul here has base, he has lands. And he has uh, creature, creature lands, man lands, they say. Of course, I know. <laughs> uh, cast the Reality Smasher. It's going to be met with a spell shrivel. John Paul is like shaking his head in disbelief. Uh, neither can I believe that that is... Uh, <laughs> oh, fantastic. Um, <laughs> I'm going to swing it for another six. And this looks like it's the game because even if John Paul does uh, animate one of his creatures, Alfian can just sacrifice it, uh, sacrifice one of his scions, tap the... Uh, say okay, so he runs another Reality Smasher and he's got enough mana to, you know, enough mana to have uh, for his Hissing Quagmire, which I think he hopes Alfian doesn't see. But... Uh, if Alfian's smart here, it doesn't attack. Or he attacks and taps down the hissing quagmire. So yeah, right now, uh, uh, an Ulamog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He needs to wait one more turn. So he just passes the turn. I have a feeling he's got an Ulamog in hand. Uh, and he can afford to take the damage, you know. So yeah. John Paul here, uh, digging deep, he needs to draw. So, okay, he has the option right now to use the Seagate Wreckage to draw, but I think he'll just draw uh, first. He can play that spell, so if it's a spell, he can play it, and then also on top of that draw, it's a Thought Knots here. He's going to see two lands in hand. Uh, and <laughs> the question is, is he going to attack? So he can attack him with probably the 2-2 two, two, uh, land, but uh, he risks... Yeah, Alfian's just going to take the damage, go down to 9. He's got a few turns left. He's got maybe uh, 2 turns left. That's about it. Alright, so Alfian, drawing for his turn. 
what does he draw? It's an anticipate, okay? So uh, on the end step there, uh, charges up the matrix network is now at 9, uh, at 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Uh, he's got a shrine in hand. So if he's got Ulamok here, it's the end of the game. Well, he doesn't have to reveal it, but uh, he's just going to cast it anyway. And uh, going to lay a land. Actually, you should lay the land and use it to cast the... He should have laid the shrine to cast the... Uh, uh, the... Hadron, Hadron Archive. Uh, now drawing a little too late there. He's got engulfed the shores, but does it do anything? One, two, three. Alright, so he's going to try to go for it. He's going to tap that guy down. Swing in. And if John Paul activates his yeah his creature is going to yep engulf the shore which is uh, for three, which means that the yeah his inquiet mind goes back to hand so yeah very f I won't say very fortunate but a good line of play there by Alfian running the mono <laughs> blue control there very happy with himself I see it. I can hear yeah I was looking back at the commentary booth. Uh, very, very, very pleased with himself. Uh, John, John Paul also very frustrated. Uh, well, in a jovial mood, but uh, I can imagine his frustration after seeing four counter spells in that game. All right, while the players are shuffling up, uh, I would like to remind you that you can join us for all our other shows. On Tuesday, which you are watching right now, is the SCG Game Night. On Wednesday evening, we have our More Than Modern, which is our modern tournament, as the name suggests. And on Thursday, on Thursday we have our Playtest Vintage or Vintage Playtest Night, where well, you can see the Power Nine, or at least likenesses of the Power Nine, uh, battling it out. So yeah, very uh, exciting and. Sometimes on the weekends, we have tournaments as well that we broadcast. Like the past weekend, we had the Legacy Challenge, which saw 28 players, uh, no, 29 players playing their best Legacy decks. Uh, you can check out the replays on YouTube. So just follow us there. And if you want to follow all our tournaments that we do on the weekends, just remember to... Uh, like our Facebook page and just follow and make sure you know you keep up to date. We also update this channel, so uh, yeah, just make sure you check it out uh, regularly to see you know what we what we're streaming on the weekend. And finally, do give our partners at the Power Nine Podcast a listen. Last week they were uh, you know last week they were doing the episode on gaming addiction and uh, this week ho 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 it's episode 69 so us being grown men and all doing the podcast uh, talk about very grown men stuff so yeah Alfian here now looking uh, what you can sideboard I think the uh, some counter spells in the form of some uh, creature uh, you know creature removal so in the form of horribly awry might make it might make it showing, but no negates are gonna go in, uh, to combat all the, uh, planeswalkers. I think creatures are fine because Alfian's creatures seem to be a lot bigger, and he's also got mainboard answers to uh to small creatures in the form of spatial contortion. John Paul here are probably gonna put in, a host of other cards. Um. Probably to go creature more creature heavy. We didn't see Sylvan Advocates in the first game. We might see it here. Uh, we also did not see any Tyler's Trackers, which uh, we might actually see in this game. So yeah, we you never know. But of course, running Eldrazi Smasher and uh, Thought Not Sears, that's pretty good already. So yeah. Yeah, let me know in the chat if uh yeah, what you guys what you guys think of these two decks. Alfian is piloting a very interesting brew. Uh John Paul Po also piloting a very interesting brew. So yeah, let me know in the chat whether uh you know what you guys think. Because I'm the only one here. 
Oh man, Mark's busy at the counter. Everybody is in Taipei, and I'm the only one left here doing the broadcast. Which you know I wouldn't miss for the world. I could be playing right now. I could be playing. All right. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is the SCG Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games, powered by the Power Nine Podcast. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts. And apparently tonight, I'm your only host. Well, it depends on whether Mark gets a bit free in the uh, later in the evening. Uh, then he can join me. I hope he does. But uh, yeah, he's trying to sell off cards. That's how you make money, people. Uh, so players present, cut the decks. John Paul has a has a earbud in his you know in his ear. Is he getting tips from? Maybe he's listening to the stream. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's listening to the stream and that's why he knows the uh he knows exactly how to play. Uh no, John Paul actually a very good <laughs> a very good player. He starts off with a Lenoir Waste. Yeah, uh you know, in the previous round John Paul made very in- intelligent plays, you know, to run out your Gideons first. Your Gideons don't matter as much as the Thought Not Seers. Because if you try to run out of the top notes here, like it will just, you know, it would be less than the two for one. All right, so Nisa here gonna hit the battlefield. John Paul gonna take one from the Lanoir Waste activation, and uh, Alfian here trying to search for probably Lemon Lands. I didn't see what he took. Uh, Nisa finds that forest, and Alfian gets his turn, which is a Void Shatter. Okay, so he's gonna lay the island here and just pass the turn and see what John Paul does. John Paul now has access to cast a. He's got access to cast well a whole bunch of spells. He's got two Halo Moonlights, probably brought in from the sideboard. He's just gonna swing in for another two. Uh, Halo Moonlights will stop the um count. Uh, sorry, the Scion co- tokens from coming onto the battlefield. Right, so gonna run out a thought knots here right now. Alfian needs to respond. Yes, uses a void shatter, does not have a uh, spell shrivel in hand to deal with that. He is now gonna run out his own thought knots here and going to take a look at John Paul Poe's hand, which uh seems to be quite a lot of gas. He's probably gonna get rid of the yep. The uh, Declaration in Stone. So two Halo Moonlights and a land and a Painful Truths. Painful Truths, not a very uh, used card nowadays. Which unfortunately, I think Painful Truths is a very powerful card. Alright, so Painful Truths here, the start of the turn, is going to take three points of damage, uh, but gets to draw three cards, which is hilariously good. Uh, going to be able to lay that land that he had in hand and just pass the turn, keep up some mana for Halo Moonlight. Okay, so he does find the uh, Declaration in Stone. Alfian here gets a clue. Does he have a clue? Yep, okay. So, very well prepared. We have the uh, <laughs> we have the the box. The box of tokens from that side. And uh, please use that. No, why you use that clue? Use the Emra clue, man. Yeah. Up on here, just passes the turn. Uh, I think. Yeah, spatial contortion here. Probably gonna see the end of that Nisa soon, but before that, John Paul's probably gonna cast. Alright, so Spatial Contortion before it deals any damage. I think you can just eat the damage. I don't think it's, uh, it, you know, you, you'd have to do that. But Displacer hits the battlefield and then just passes the turn. Alright, so after I'm going to charge up his Matrix Network, try to get it up to 10 mana, uh, which he will have next turn. But he needs to survive the uh, the Thought Not Seer that John Paul has. And Thought Not Seer... Uh, now he's got the lens. The thought knots here with that uh, Eldrazi Displacer is going to be able to uh, control Alfian's hand for a very, very, very long time. Just passes the turn. And yeah. So right now, <laughs> in Alfian's hand is a lot of gas. 
Uh, and uh, he's going to cast, ooh, that's a big boy, the Conduit of Ruin. He's going to probably look out for Ulamog or Kozilek, put it on top of his... Okay, right, so he's going to get Ulamog. <laughs> he's going <laughs> to put, <laughs> put it on top of his library. Uh, and uh, and <laughs> John Paul going to cycle the Halo Moonlight. It's not going to be very as effective as uh, he'd intended it to be. So here, you run the Thought Knots here, but the Thought Knots here is not going to get you that Ulamog. It's going to get you that other Ulamog. So Thought Knots here is going to see the three cards, which makes it possible for him to cast uh, the Ulamog. Yeah. That's going to be tough because 1, 2... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, he's got more than enough mana. He needs to get rid of the... <laughs> John Paul here trying to get in as much damage as, she, as he can. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, Alfian here going to be able to cast that Ulamog on top of his library uh, just by laying that land and then tapping it... it Seven, eight, yep. So he'll have one island open, uh, which he leaves the matrix network, which kind of weird. So he's probably going to get rid of, yep, the two creatures that are causing him a lot of trouble. <laughs> what John Paul could have done. Okay, so instead of that, uh, left the extra mana untapped, bounce the, uh, bounce the thought knots here instead. And uh, get Alfian to draw a card, and then you exile the um, you exile the Ulamog. So now Alfian has two um, two clue tokens, but he's got a five five on the battlefield, and it's already done the damage. He's already uh, you know got rid of two of John Paul's uh, controlling creatures, which uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting race. Alfian going to be able to beat for three each turn. Uh, effectively three each turn, yeah. And uh, right now with the uh, of Hope, John of Hope's probably going to see, yep, a Halo Moonlight. It's going to t eat away two of the uh, tokens that it's going to produce. Uh, Alfian actually that costs two less, but you can't hear me. It's okay. Uh, it's legal to tap your mana. You cannot, uh, you know, you don't stop that. It's legal to tap your mana. Your mana will drain at the end of turn. It's just that you did not use all your mana. That's why Modo is uh, very helpful, people. It reminds you of things like this. Oath of Nisa. What is it going to find for John Paul? Oh, sweet, sweet, sweetness. Uh, Transcript. Oh, wow, John Paul's got a lot of controlling... Uh, Controlling card, control cards in hand, and uh, also has that thought knots here. Does he cast the thought knots here? Here, if he casts it, he doesn't have enough to animate the uh, shambling vents, which I think he does need if he wants to have any hope of that. Uh, Alfie, I'm going to anticipate first. Alright, uh, oh no, sorry, it's going to eat the anticipate. Alfie, I'm just going to draw two cards off of that. I think you can just cast the anticipate. Dissipate. No. All right. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, cozy like gonna hit the battlefield here. Uh, gonna chalk up Avian's hand up to <laughs> up to seven cards. He gives the A O K sign. Lays a land. Now it's just gonna swing in and let's see what um John Paul Paul does. Oh no, John Paul does have the does have the lands. He is now going to try to charm block. No, no I don't think you charm block. You try to trade off. Man, you know things things are not looking very good for John Paul right now. Uh, does he trade off? He tra well, uh, trade off either one. The uh, Conduit of Ruin has done its job already because Alfian's got 10 mana up for... Yeah, 
Alfiano already has 10 mana up, so it doesn't really matter. But he's probably going to block this way. Okay, so get rid of the Drowner of Hope. Yeah, that's a better... That's a better card to get rid of. Yep, kills the... Kills the Drowner of Hope. He's going to stack the... Uh, what's what's his name? Thought Nots here in front. Kills it. Draws a card. Uh, Drowner of Hope dies. Alfian, Drowner of Hope dies. Yep. Yeah. Good, good, good. Player, yeah. Play, players resolve things by themselves. Avian also has eight cards in hand. Probably, uh, yeah. This card's an island. John Paul here has some answers. He has that Sylvan Advocate. He has another. He, and he has more than enough mana. Okay, so Sylvan Advocate, is it going to get countered here? And yeah, he's going to run out and negate to counter the Sylvan Advocate. Have you ever seen that? And negate countering a Sylvan Advocate? And uh, they shake hands. And that's the game. Congrats to Alfian. Alfian, uh, one, game, one game win on his way to uh, hopefully a champion of the uh, SCG game night for the month of June. Congrats. All right, if you just joined us, you are watching the SCG Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games, powered by the Power 9 Podcast. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts. Uh, before we go to a replay, let me remind you that we do other shows here today. Uh, we do other shows. Tuesday night isn't the only time we stream. Wednesday, we do Modern. Thursday, we do Vintage. And sometimes we stream on the weekends. So if you want to stay tuned to that or you want to keep updated to that, make sure you like our Facebook page. And make sure uh, you keep updated from there. We also update the page. So remember, just subscribe to this channel and you'll get yourself updated. Um, you can watch all the replays on YouTube. Uh, yeah, like the tournament that we had on the, you know, this past weekend. We had the Legacy Tournament. That was a hell of a lot of fun. And finally, do pay our partners a visit, the Power 9 Podcast. Go listen to them. Uh, they're the ones who make everything here possible, and uh, we're thankful for that. Uh, this week, the episode is on... Well, this week, the episode is coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow is episode 69. So yeah, you can imagine how um, adult we are. Uh, so we're going to go for a short break. Don't you go away. We'll be back with round two in about, well, 20, 22 minutes time. 23 minutes time. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah.